In, uh, in early December, uh, both Steve and I as elders made uh, a pastoral announcement about our giving uh, as we were heading into the end of the year. And uh, I, honestly, guys, I, I really enjoy when we teach on giving out of the scriptures because it's, it's part of our life. It's part of what God actually speaks to us about. And it's a, actually, it's, it's really important because God says you can only serve one master, not two. Uh, you, it's either God or money. And so uh, it's like it's one of those things that's really close to our hearts. Um, but uh, I want to just share what happened over the Christmas holiday. Uh, we were away in South Carolina, and I was checking in on the reports just of, of year end, just to know kind of roughly what I was going to come back to. And I was honestly assuming that we were going to come back to a pretty dire space. And, and I saw a couple of reports, and the reports were like, this looked like this might be potentially the biggest giving year in the history of the church. And uh, so... I, I, was, I was looking at, I ran them a couple different times to, to make sure that I wasn't misreading and verified with, uh, with Jeff. And, and, uh, and then I found myself excited. I found myself relieved. And I found myself miffed. Uh, I was excited that something was happening in us together as a people to trust God and see that this really might be the, the, the largest giving year in the history of Christian fellowship. Um, and I was relieved that we were going to be able to probably like recover a lot of the, the debt that we had incurred just going through the process of the year. Uh, and I was really miffed that God had kind of had this space where he had me get up in front of you um, and, and have to do the announcement in December. I was like, Jesus, come on. You know, I don't like doing this. Uh, and the reason why I don't like doing this is because I want you to be free to always give with generosity and cheerfulness to the Lord. And I never want to use this space to manipulate you. So Jesus got, taught me a couple things. One is this is not your church. The second thing is this is not your church. It's not mine, and it's not yours. It's his. And so that's, that's what we get to participate in, is we participate together in his church. And the other thing that he taught me uh, is this, is that we need each other. It's not my leadership over this that makes it successful. It's not our elders' leadership over this that makes it successful. It's not even your activity in the life of the church, but it is us together that we get to see something happen in God. So it is with great excitement that I tell you, it actually was the largest giving year in the history of the church in our GF. So we'll, we'll have a family meeting in March and we encourage at least somebody from every household to be there because we want to walk through. I want to take you through the story. I want, to take, I want to take you through the roller coaster ride with Jesus that, the, that we in the accounting office went through and the elders of like, ooh, this is like a ride. Um, because it's us that went on the ride. Um, and, uh, and you participated along with us and we participated in God's vision for us as a church. And he did something that none of us really could imagine. And so I just want us to know that God is among us and working and it is us together that experiences that. Um, so with that, thank you for giving. Thank you for participating with us together as a church in God's purposes for us uh, as we closed out of 2022 and we are in a place to step in with great faith and hope and joy into 2023.